This is a demonstration of tracing, and to trace we'll have a clear transparent page and put our image that we want to trace on the second page. So we'll go to the second page and we'll import our image, but first let's verify that we have the import image size set to large so we have the largest resolution um, image that we can work with. And now we can import our image. And of course reposition it on the page. Rotate it so it's the correct orientation. And in this case we'll notice that the image isn't quite lined up with our grid. And so we can select our image and then go to image and then rotate it into where it's lined up correctly. So we'll notice we can rotate it by half a degree each time. That was too far. And that looks like that's probably lined up correctly. So now delete our page, our line. And now we can set our page properties. And so what we'll do is we want it opaque, we want the grid turned off, and we want it set to where it's going to zoom with any other pages. So now we go to our top sheet, change its settings. So we want it to be clear, leave the grid on, but make sure that it's set to zoom this page only is off as well. And now we have two synced up pages to work with. Now it should be noted at this point that some versions of GraphPad um, the pages aren't syncing up correctly, and I'm looking at fixing that issue. And now we can simply go and sketch out our drawing. Now it's okay in our drawing to overshoot certain lines, and that's because in lines mode, a lot of times it's easier to have a long line that we offset, right, and then continue our tracing. So we'll zoom in for this real fine detail and do our tracing around. We can see we can do this fairly accurately. We have guidelines that you're helping out. For intersections, oftentimes it's best to overshoot by a distance because we're gonna to wanna to trim that endpoint and then go to points. And now we can go back to lines and trim the endpoint, etc. And continue on. etc. If at any point we want to see what we've traced, we can just go to our settings, set the background to opaque, and now we can see our drawing. And that's what I have on tracing. Thank you.